Work on the construction of the Solomon Ho Choi Highway to Point Fortin is set to resume and the next phase will cost taxpayers some 95 million TT dollars. The portion from Dumfries Road to the Mosquito Creek was commissioned today on the South Trunk Road. Ian Wason has more. Work on the Solomon Ho Choi Highway leading to Point Fortin will restart soon. And according to NITCO Chairman Hubert George, there is so much to salvage from the work as the country is yet to benefit from the money spent. The overall project budget at the time was 7.502 billion TT dollars. The amount spent on the project to date is 5.088 billion TT dollars. The physical works actually accomplished is 49%. Dr. Rowley, in giving the feature address, said this time around the portion the highway labeled Package B is costing just $95 million. He also questioned OAS, the Brazilian company that abandoned the project. We will build this highway in Trinidad and Tobago as we could have done from the very beginning. We didn't have to go and hand it to a corrupt Brazilian contractor who went bankrupt halfway. And the bankruptcy was generated by arrests and jailings for corruption in Brazil. We have to assume that that didn't apply in Trinidad and Tobago. When they came to Trinidad and Tobago, they were the sons and daughters of Angel Gabriel. They didn't get corrupt in Trinidad and Tobago. Turning his attention to the opposition, he focused on their calls for transparency. This government is doing it differently. And that is why this morning we are awarding a contract to a local contractor for a $175 million, something like that. $95 million? Even better. $95 million. Many local contractors could have bid on that project. And there are other pieces of the project where other local contractors will bid. And eventually, we, with our local expertise, our local equipment, and our local financing, we will build this highway in Trinidad and Tobago as we could have done from the very beginning. Works Minister Rohan Sinanan said the road to Toko, the Kurup overpass, and the Digo Martin overpass are among projects that are in the initial stages of planning. Ian Wason, C News.